Hey, good morning everybody, Sarasota Tim. How are you 168,000 beautiful souls doing this morning? Oh my gosh, what a day. I already made my coffee, but I have not had the first sip. And I just wanted to enjoy that with you guys. Got a cup here that one of my subscribers, uh, Deb the Barber, got me. When she sent me the gold, the uh, uh, grog, uh, the, uh, what's it called? Man, get in bed. The Highlander grog. I'll never forget Deb. She turned me on to that. Well, let's see. Irish cream. Almond Joy. Almond Joy. It's got a little bit more in the bottle than the other one, so we'll work it down a little bit. Just a little bit on the bottom of the cup. Got this beautiful, rich, dark Highlander Grog coffee. I poured the rest of that pack in there. Up lid. Half cup. Well, let's see if it's still good. Mmm. Mmm. Irish cream. No, not Irish cream. Almond Joy. I am not awake yet, but I can tell you this. Oh my gosh! That is absolutely the best cup of coffee I've ever drank in my life! Wow! Well, you know the program. Let's go through it. That's how we begin every day. Oops. I'm using my new... Uh... Check it out. That's how you, that's how I'm doing it. Where's the, there it is. I can make it lower or higher. It's got these little uh, doodads right here. One, two, three, I have four sections that I can raise it up or down. Like look, right now, it's right about with my, my chin. So when I go on the golf course, I just set that down. It's got a nice uh, base. Uh, the wind's not going to blow that over. It's not a broad base, but it's it's pretty good. And I will not need it that tall either, because as I walk away, like I'll be hitting my golf ball right here. So we'll figure it all out. I'll get the old, the old, uh... let me show you something. I bought shoes yesterday. You guys know that, right? I did not buy the white ones. I wanted them. I still want white shoes, but I just can't pull the trigger. They get so dirty. These are the exact shoe I bought yesterday in a different color. It's kind of a, I don't know if you can tell on camera, it's a very uh, dark gray. A little blue in there. And these are called the um, Air Max... Nike Air Max 270s. They're the 270s. And I bought those some time back. And I kind of didn't like them because of one thing. I'm going to show you right now. <clears throat> Let's get over here. Damn, this is good coffee. Oh, can't wait till the next cup. It's almost gone. The, uh, the new ones I got, <coughs> the black, which goes with everything. See, it's uh, it looks like a C, but that actually says 270. And uh, it says air. They have this cushiony thing here. Here's what I don't like about them. All shoes, when you t open the shoelaces, you can open the shoe up. See? 
See, see right here, see the tongue? The tongue is sewn on both sides. It does not open up, the shoe does not open up. It doesn't matter if you take the shoelace off. See, the tongue is all part of the shoe. So you put your finger in here and you pull the shoe on like a, like a loafer. So <laughs> I go to the golf course, I take these off, put my golf shoes on. I can't get them back on without a shoehorn. And I do have one. And it's so cheap. It's really cheap. It's, it's, it's okay, but this thing bends. It's already bent once. Uh, Fred was showing me his last night. Raffaello got him on Amazon for $3.99. But it's just a short one. He sits on the couch. He doesn't have any problem bending over. Neither do I. But this is kind of handy for those, you know, times you just want to stand up, drop it in. But when I got the, that $180 I had to spend for medical stuff, I saw on there they have uh, canes and uh, blood pressure monitors and all these other things besides vitamins and Vaseline and Q-tips and all that. I'm going to get one. But I may not need it because I can't carry it around with me because I bought, I'm a nine and a half, always have been, but I guess I'm a 10 now. And I bought 10s and I'm able to put these on relatively easy with the finger and slide my foot in. So I'm happy with them. And now that I have that along with those dark gray ones, I'm going to wash those today in the washing machine. I wash my tennis shoes. They'll come up like new and I have two pair now. But I wanted that white pair. Oh, man. I really did. <clears throat> um, before I even forget, I want to tell everybody, I was reading comments this morning. You know, I always read all the comments. And <clears throat> I answered pretty much everybody, I think. I told you I would tell Fred and Raffaella uh, any of the nice things that you say and nice things you did. And true. Those are the two of the most beautiful souls that walk the earth. They really are nice people. And I just want to tell you what I didn't show you last night on the video is after she served the dinner, when she always plates up the table so nicely. She's so traditional. I showed you how she had a plate on top of a plate, you know, for the salad and all that. She has these cute little silverware pieces and these knives that we use. Uh, the air conditioner. Um... <clears throat> She, uh, what I did in video was she always, after dinner, makes a pot of coffee and puts out dessert. And not one dessert. Like last night, she had some homemade uh, oatmeal raisin cookies, and they were in a bowl and put on the table. And she had some store-bought, I guess, she said that she didn't make them, brownies, and then she put out this pie that I think I videoed the last time I went over there some leftover that she still had and I was good on that I took like my spoon and I cut a piece of each one and I did not even eat the piece of each one all I I tasted them I'm trying to be good but she always puts it on the table and we return to the table and we sit down we don't first of all you don't want to eat like that on your couch on your lap so we always sit at the table which is kind of special because we sit and we have I'll bet I was there three hours I mean we always have the best longest deepest whatever we want to talk about conversation and everybody's talking everybody's being honest it's it's such a good feeling and then um, when we get the dessert though when she makes that coffee I always have to get up from the table sometimes we've sat there and continue talking and then the coffee and the dessert would come 
And I needed to stand up and let some of that food go down because she always <laughs> puts plenty of it out there. So I did excuse myself last night after dinner and said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit on the couch. So Fred and I went over to the couch. She policed the kitchen and uh, uh, she never wants any help with that. You know, she, her kitchen, man, that's her kitchen. So she puts the dishes over in the sink and she's doing her thing. She can, she can whip it up, clean it up, do it. She can do it all. And I don't know, 20 minutes goes by. We're sitting over talking, Fred and I on the couch. And uh, she's in a, in a little bit of the conversation, but she's kind of busy in the kitchen over there. And then she goes, okay, let's come back to the table. So we go back to the table, fresh pot of coffee, these desserts, everything laid out just like she did for dinner. And we sit there and there's an assortment. It's so cool. And we sit there and we have the coffee. And she waits on me like, I don't even, she can just read my mind. I was, my water was getting low. She had that beautiful picture that I videoed. It used to have Kool-Aid in when we were kids. It had a cool picture full of ice. They got a brand new refrigerator that makes ice and she just, she's got plenty of ice and uh, she got a water filter and all that. So, and she knows I love water. I just drink water. I don't drink anything else for dinner and uh, you know, I don't drink any other stuff. So, and they don't either. They have some, they'll indulge with guests, but they're not drinkers. So anyway, um, we go back to the table for the coffee and the dessert. There's an assortment and we sit there and then the conversation begins again. And it goes on for a while until finally, I think it was about 9 p.m. I got there at 6.20 and I said, <laughs> I got to get back. So I'm out of here. And, uh, you know, they tell me, they're like, you can come by anytime you want. You don't need to call us, whatever. You know, we just don't want to bother you or bug you. And, you know, if you're with somebody or whatever, I'm like, you're not bothering me or bugging me. Let's have some more coffee. I'm getting all hopped up now. Here. Let's go down. Hang on. Let me loosen this up. There we go. Let's go down here. Let's have a little more almond joy. So anyway, I, I will be sharing with them, and I did share with them last night, uh, some of the comments on the earlier video from when I was in uh, Winn-Dixie uh, talking about how, you know, she called. All I did was text her. Hey, guess what I'm making tonight? Olive oil and garlic and uh, pasta. Why you don't come here? I'm making for you. <laughs> so she wouldn't take no for an answer. I had a great time. I had a great time. And, uh, you know, I used to live next door to them. And they, uh, we worked out a deal with our internet and we worked out a deal with everything else. Um, because we were in such close proximity. College kids do it all the time. We were able to share uh, the internet costs because, I mean, these are like 750 square foot apartments. So one person has the internet. You ever put your Wi-Fi on on your phone and see 15 other signals within proximity? And if you had the password, you could be on their Wi-Fi. So um, we shared the costs. And not that... You know, we couldn't pay our own, but, you know, it's a wall dividing the two units. So we did that. They loved it. And I loved it. Every penny counts. So I got them on the visible wireless. I got them to uh, buy the iPhones. And when it come time for updates and turn their phone on or when they had the, uh, they get the smart TV that we, we put in recently, and it has to be set up. It's a simple, very intuitive process, but to them, you know, it's it's a little more difficult. And they think I'm a genius <laughs> because I can I can set up the TV. Or I am pretty smart on the, on the iPhone about different things, and uh, not the smartest, but I'm pretty techy. And so, uh, and he's always pushing the wrong button on that TV. Last night, he goes, Tim. I hate to bother you, he goes, but I did it again. He pushed something where he has accessibility on, where every time he pushes a button on the remote and it goes from one thing to another, the TV repeats what he just did. 
It's for, um, uh, for uh, I guess, deaf people or something. Well, that wouldn't make sense. Whatever the reason is uh, that it repeats it. It's called accessibility. You have it on your phone, too. Uh, and it's the second time I've had to turn it off for him. Unfortunately, he had it on a low volume because otherwise that is annoying. Because if you're sitting there and you go through like four steps or changing the channel, and every time you push the button, the TV tells you what you know you just did. Folks, that's the best cup of coffee I've ever drank in my life. So good. And uh, so we turned that off and uh, just had a good time. Just had a great, great time. But when I lived there, that's what I was trying to say. Um, I'd go over there and visit them and talk to them, you know, without having a meal. Just sitting there and visiting. Uh, there's a lake there in the front, and uh, Fred and I was uh, starting to walk um, a little bit around the lake together, and we'd talk. And um, it was just always nice having them right next door. And when I moved away, it really, uh, it broke their hearts. They were, I'll tell you a short story, and then we'll move on. But they owned their unit. I was a renter there. And when they bought there, uh, they were a, a, a bank sale or a, a, whatever you call that, short sale. And people were able to buy those for like, Less than a car cost. <laughs> it's really ridiculous. I mean, in 08, whatever it was when the crash was. And the deal was, though, you did have to pay cash. You couldn't finance it. The guy I rented from, owned, he bought 12. <laughs> so that's how cheap they were. He was an investor. I guess he's rich anyway. And now they have, you know, quadrupled in price. But it doesn't matter to them. They're not selling it. They're not going anywhere. That's their place. But the story goes, and when they are so upset that I don't live there anymore, is he wanted to buy the unit I lived in next door. And it was about, it was about this much of a, of a difference in the money. He, he made an offer on it, and it was like he could have just went a little bit more. And she kept telling him, she'll admit it, that... We don't need it. She didn't need it. We didn't need it. We don't need it. <clears throat> and now, you know, that's one of their, their little uh, things. They give it to each other. They give each other the business about, I wanted to buy that. And she wouldn't. And then she'll say, I know. I, I should have let you. And, blah, blah. and they go back and forth. It's really cute. <clears throat> but now the story is not for the fact that they can make money. You know, they're not hurting. But they don't. They want me to be in there. <laughs> <laughs> he said, I would have never raised your rent. I would have, he, he always, he has a philosophy that if I had a, a place like that to rent and I could get a person like you, talking about me, because I'm very clean and, and neat, um, I wouldn't raise your rent so high. I would make it a very low rent, uh, not probably giveaway, but, you know, very low to keep somebody for a long, long term. It's going to take care of his property. To him, that's more important. And personally, I understand that the uh, landlords today, they get a lot of money. And most people don't really damage the places. Some have, but I mean, what are you going to do? It's four walls and a washer and dryer and an air conditioner system, you know, some cabinets. I mean, what are people going to do? Go in there and yank them off the wall? I mean, really. Uh, most people, you know, act civil. But... It's important to him to know that someone's not going to tear the place up and, uh, and to have someone like myself in there uh, would have made them very happy. And I would still be there if they did own it. Believe me. We've even looked into uh, you know, what they're going for over there. It's ridiculous. We were paying uh, 10 and a quarter, 1,025. It went to 1075. And then he raised it another 50 a few years later. We were there like five, six years. I was 11 and a quarter when I left. The pandemic came. He said, I'm raising it $500. You know, like 50%. And I said, the hell you are. I'm out of here. I would never pay that kind of money in my life. And then, of course, when I left, 
uh, I went over the uh, East Coast and you know, I got the wolf pup. And then I quickly learned in, you know, in short order that everybody, every landlord, every state, every city, probably everywhere in the world, I don't know, went up in rent, even in the Philippines. So, you know, lessons learned, but that doesn't mean I'm going to pay it. It, means it doesn't mean I wanted to pay it or would pay it. So I still won't pay it. And I'm glad to have right here, this right here. And believe me, I ain't paying no $1,600 a month. Uh-uh. Shoot, the money I'm, I'm saving versus what I am paying by not giving it uh, to a landlord and storing this and letting rats eat it up, it's paying me back. And so one day, even though it's a depreciating asset, I can't lose. I just can't lose uh, of what I get back every month living in this beautiful 25 FKBS. It's gorgeous. It's really gorgeous. And every time I get in it, every single time, I kid you not, I can sit there in that theater chair and look at the TV. I step over here to this kitchen. I look at this beautiful counter. I keep everything like new. Everything works. And I'm impressed. I mean, I never owned a house in my life. I was always a squatter. Uh, in my business, it allowed me to move around and work anywhere I wanted to work. And when I would dry up an area, I'd need to go somewhere else, or thought I needed to. And I thought, why would I own a home? And I can't be in it. And if I rented it out, they might tear it up. Or if they didn't pay, I still got to pay that and somewhere else. Anyway, I've told the story before. That was one of my decisions on uh, not uh, purchasing real estate uh, throughout my life. Do I have any regrets? Very little. If I had to do over again in the life I've lived, not much I'd change. Not much. I've had a very good life and uh, ups and downs like anybody else. Uh, trials, tribulations, this and that. But when I think about it in a, in a millisecond, of all the places I've gone, been, people I've been with, people I've met that has afforded me to keep moving, instead of, you know, some people have a house, they buy it, and that's where they live for 30, 40 years. You know, they know their neighbors real good, but they don't know anything else about this country. They haven't been anywhere. They, they say they do. They've been traveling. They go a week here and a week there. I'm talking about I lived in a lot of states and a lot of places, but... It's not about that, really, that I don't regret. It's about the freedom that I've had my entire life of being a true free person, except the 17 years I gave of my life to a prison job called the car business. They wanted me there from the time they opened up in the morning till the time they closed. And that wasn't my schedule, but... They give you this big guilt thing if you leave. Oh, we really need you. We're going to be shorthanded here. We're going to be busy later. And then the weekend would come that you're finally off after one in a month. And they say, well, we we're going to be shorthanded. We can really appreciate you coming in. And if you don't, they fire you. And in those days, you just look at them wrong and they'll fire you. There wasn't any write-ups or need to be or, you know, you could sue them. In fact, if you took your weekend off, this is an old joke. In the car business, you took the weekend off, Monday morning... You best call first and ask for yourself. If they say he doesn't work here anymore, you knew to keep your demo and go get another job. <laughs> That's just a joke. But seriously, you know. <clears throat> what a brutal business it was. Not just for the poor customers, but the salesmen. The management treated you like crap. All right, I don't know how I got on that, but let's go on. So, uh, today, this morning, I will go back over to the gym, get on the treadmill, do 45 minutes, go down, push some weights around on the machines, continue doing everything I can to uh, become a lean, mean fighting machine for that cruise, which is uh, coming quicker and quicker. And, you know, it, it takes a month to lose four or five pounds, especially when you cheat. So, um, you know, we do what we can. And that doesn't mean that it's all over once you get on board. You got a, a jogging track, you got a gym 
you can still continue your program. And you don't have to eat everything just because it's free. You know, so I don't know why I keep talking about like, oh, I'm guaranteed to get fat if I take a cruise. But things are around every corner there for the taking. Pick it up. It's yours. <laughs> Man, that's good coffee. So, I'm kind of sweating now. Oh, thank you, air conditioner. <laughs> um, so I got some comments last night about the uh, the food, and I'm going to be sharing those with her. And uh, Larry and Denise, uh, good friends of mine, they're going to drive an hour to uh, a place in Georgia to get their favorite Italian food uh, because of the... Uh, the video last night of motivating them. They love Italian food. Another uh, California Steve, he sends pictures of his family. He's Italian, his his wife's Italian. And he says, from one Italian family to the other, you know, we, we say hello and we love you guys and all. And so lots of good uh, comments. And I uh, uh, appreciate the, uh, the sense of humor that uh, pretty much everybody had regarding uh, the video we made yesterday with uh, Cowboy Tim. That was a lot of fun. Uh, I don't know where it came from, but it was fun. And uh, I couldn't wait for him to leave because it was hot. <laughs> but when that weather changes, and it will, it's going to be uh, not as soon down here as it will other places. Some of you have commented about how, like up in Washington, it's beautiful and fall like temperatures, and Massachusetts. I've been hearing about what a wonderful uh, weather uh, system you've got going on up there. You've got a good friend of mine, Chip, up there. He's uh, camping with his wife in their camper and just sending pictures about how lovely it is outside. And so, yeah, the weather is already, even in Atlanta, where my daughter lives, I checked the weather. It's, you know, 80s, um, 69, 70 at night. I mean, that's that's fine. Not winter yet, but that's that's great. So when those temperatures do finally arrive here, uh, the attire will change. But 9.9% of the time here in South Florida, <laughs> that's it. Shorts, flip-flops. It's hot. You can't even wear socks and shoes. So when uh, Cowboy Tim had to don boots and white thick socks, uh, I don't wear my no-shows with, with boots. Long sleeve shirt. Denim jeans are the hottest pants you can wear in the summer and the coldest you can wear in the winter. Look it up. It's a true fact. So, uh, it wasn't that uncomfortable. I mean, I'm perspiring in this. I will be perspiring. Uh, but I, I, was, I was a little warm and uncomfortable in that. And I certainly got some attention right now. What's he wearing all that for? <laughs> this is South Florida. Is he out of, where's he from, Texas? Anyway, had a good time doing that. Appreciate your sense of humor and all your comments about that. Uh, I would like to ask while I'm thinking of it, once again, I'm going to be saying this often because the subscribers are just going, you know, through the roof. If you would please just check to make sure that you are, if you want to be, subscribed or following the channel. And if you've been unsubscribed or unfollowed, whichever word you like to use, if you just click that button, I'd appreciate it. Uh, after you get to a million, uh, you get this plaque from YouTube. And then you can go right down to Wells Fargo with it and cash it in. <laughs> no. But it is a, uh, a plaque that you get for 100,000 and then it's 1 million uh, subscribers that... Uh, I esteem to achieve one day. So I ask you if you would uh, be consider uh, subscribing to my channel and checking your subscription if you watch my videos already that you haven't been unsubscribed. There's some strange anomaly going on and other YouTubers have said the same thing that there's some kind of a, of a weird deal. And so after staying at one number for it seemed like eternity, it, it broke loose. And I don't want it to stop. And, um, you know, so just, if you don't mind, check that for me. I appreciate it. And if you're new to the channel, uh, consider subscribing. Like I said, I really appreciate that. 
And uh, now I think we will uh, make some eggs. I'll make another video for that because this one's kind of long. And, uh, you know, I like to make multiple videos a day. So we'll, we'll probably cook us up an egg. It's not good to drink all that coffee and then just go get on the treadmill without a little something in my belly. I have some hamburger buns that I think I'll toast instead of that bread. That bread is getting kind of old now, even though you can toast it. I don't know. I like hamburger buns for sandwiches, for hamburgers, for toast. I love it. And uh, I haven't boiled my eggs yet. I need to do that. I've got two dozen in here that I need to boil some to have boiled eggs for protein just so I can pop something in my mouth and fill that hole when the hunger strikes come. That's the key is you got to have stuff ready to go that's, who am I talking to? <laughs> that's healthy. And you know me, I'm Mr. Healthy. I, I never eat anything that's not good for you. So uh, let's make another cup of coffee, make some eggs. I'll put this video up for you guys so you have a little morning chat going this morning. I know a lot of you look forward to it with your coffee. And make sure that you uh, please check that subscription and crush it.